We are now living in a post Han Solo trailer world. That's right, the craziness dropped. I'm sitting down and in this video talking about the two main questions. Did this trailer deliver what it needed to to turn the fan base around? And did we buy Elden Ehrenreich as Han Solo? Let's talk about it. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. The Han Solo trailer is here. Holy crap, it's about time. I'm sitting down with James Rosile. We're talking Han Solo. James, how are you, good sir? I'm great. Thanks for having me on. You know I'm excited for Han Solo, so I'm looking yes. forward to doing this one. Yes, and you did a dope reaction last night that got a lot of views. A lot of people checked that out. Uh, you and Aaron checking the trailer out. It was very cool. Everyone should go watch that. We were in a food and wine coma. Yes, food and wine comas are good. Uh, I was out last night. For those of you that don't know, I live in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl last night. It was pretty crazy. I may or may not have some alcohol still running through my blood. So uh, this should be a really fun day talking about Solo. But that trailer dropped last night. Two main yeah. questions. Two most important things, James. Considering all the kerfuffle that has been the marketing for Han Solo, the fan base of Star Wars itself being divided from The Last Jedi. This trailer had an enormous amount of pressure on it. We had no idea what this trailer was going to be like, but we knew it needed to deliver. So the first question is, did this trailer deliver what we think it needed to? Your thoughts. The one last night or the one this morning? Uh, let's go with the full, the full. Because I actually think that's an interesting point to make because I think that combined, they do a lot together. Yeah. But let's say we're gonna have to do both i almost feel like okay. they're so different i thought it was a great one-two punch you know everyone's like where's the trailer trailer delay this and that and this and that i don't think it was delayed i think this was their plan they hit us they got us in the super bowl which is you know overcrowded with everything but then today when everybody's talking about the super bowl commercials we got a solo trailer standalone from the Super Bowl. So I think they really hit us hard with one to punch. Now I'll say on my channel, the Rebel Scum Podcast, a lot of the comments were, we barely saw Solo. Today, we saw Solo. Yes. And that's why I think this was all part of their plan going into it. Now, did this bring people back <laughs> from The Last Jedi? That is a loaded question. Because yeah. I will say it brought, I'm going to go with like 50 50 percent 55 percent of them back not all of them i know right. i'm looking at the comments that i've been getting on i've done three videos in the last uh 20 less than 24 hours right and the comments on those ones are this is winning me over star wars is dead to me and mm. they're flipping back and forth flipping back and forth now and i'm saying as those are people who did not like the last jedi those right. are the ones that are coming back uh the people that like the last jedi are pretty much on board with this I have heard a lot of people say that it's not original. They're not finding this to be very original, which maybe we'll get into, maybe we won't. But, mm -hmm. you know, I think for, for me looking at it, I obviously I was biased because I was excited for it going in. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was decent. Yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, there's a lot to sort of unpack here. So I guess specifically talking about last night during the Super Bowl, I felt like it was a very good strategy to do the spot that they did in the way that they did, right? And sort of tease him out a little bit, like a true teaser. It gives you the vibe of the movie. It gives you a lot of the flavor. You kind of get a very good feel for what the movie's visually going to do. And yet you, you're you sort of around corners looking at him. He's in a chair, not looking at you. They, they show the end and there's the, the crate, the light coming through, his face is obscured. The whole, the whole thing was very teaser. So I felt like that was very successful. At first it had me worried, you know what I mean? Like com to be completely honest, I was like, oh boy, they're avoiding uh, they're avoiding that solo thing. You know what I mean? Like I, and there's part of me that's like, I wonder if they can not show him talking at all <laughs> before this movie. Um, but then the trailer, you, you, you fast forward to this morning, very good, very good. I think it did deliver exactly what it needed to do because I think that, you know, you take the last Jedi divide out of the equation. There's still a group of people out there, myself included, that really never wanted this movie, that were never passionate about this movie. But this feels like the kind of Star Wars film I want to watch right now, given the context of everything that's happening. And I like The Last Jedi, 
but I do understand what's happening in the fan base. I'm not blind to it. So I think that it did succeed in the way that it, it really needed to come out strong. I think if it was any less Star Wars-y, but also kind of adventurous, right? Like we have the possible pikes. We've got that fight on the train, the the sweet person in the cantina, that lady with all the gold on her. We get so many cool visuals. It nailed that. It nailed that whole thing where you're like, okay, yes, this is a side of Star Wars I'm familiar with, but don't know completely, I'm in. So yeah, in that regard, I definitely think that it hit. Now, the second question is about Aaron Reich. Now, the, the whole thing, man, the whole Han Solo movie, it really rests on the shoulder of his performance as Han. And we knew nothing, next to nothing, about what that was going to be like. So let's uh, let's talk about the, the teaser and then what we get today. Did you buy him as Han Solo? Do you think that that was effective? I 100% bought him as Han Solo. I will say this, last night the teaser, um, you, the concern you had is one that I saw a lot of people had. And I, I did not have that because uh, because it was a teaser. I felt like it it was exactly, they were building up to something. And today is what they were building up to. And you don't need to show, in the teaser, you're teasing Solo. So we got, he wants to be the best pilot in the galaxy. And then we see him with a little cut on his face and a nice film noir shot. Mm -hmm. I was totally cool with that, knowing that that is not, like that's the one that you would get, you know, a year out. You know what I mean? Like that's the teaser we would have got Thanksgiving a year ago, as opposed to right now. But I, I think their marketing was smart because of the Last Jedi. If you put this out before the Last Jedi, no one is excited for Solo today, like they are now, mm. in that respect. Yeah. So, and then seeing this trailer today, I was on board with him the whole time, not like overly. And then that last sequence in the trailer yes. that part where he does that maneuver in the falcon and then he turns around and he says whatever his line is like yeah hey, we're okay we're out of trouble i was like i was worried there for a minute but yeah. we're fine we're fine that line yeah. i was just like first of all i've been saying it for a while now kazdan 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 yes i feel like it almost okay he doesn't sound like harrison ford he doesn't look like harrison ford but I think because of everything we're going to get, we're going to see past that. And I think because it's Kasdan, who we talked about it last week, yep. knows Han Solo better than probably anybody, including George Lucas. It's going to be that for me that we're going to be like, I'm sold because the line, like the attitude, the persona of, Her of Han Solo is what all Aaron Reich, that's all he has to do. He doesn't have to mimic right. him. Exactly. It's already written for him. He just has to deliver those lines which is why I also think Lord and Miller were canned because they were giving him to do it more. You can see that line being comedic also, if you think about it. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought that last line for me sold me on on him as Han Solo. I said, okay, I'm not worried anymore. Now, look, it's a trailer. It's one line of dialogue. We've seen another one. It could be terrible. The movie, who knows? But right now, in that moment, I'm in. Right. And that's its job, right? The trailer's job is to get you to buy it. Yep so that you're excited to see the movie so that you're like yes this is not going to be a problem with the film so here's here's my thing and and am i reading way too far into this did the eagles just win the super bowl am i possibly still <laughs> drunk i mean who wants th these are all questions right but here's what i'm saying i watched this thing and i said this is all of the money the time the 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 drama this is all of that that they have put into this film when you look at this film, and this is just in the trailer, but you can see the attention to detail because the thing is, it's a tough nut to crack because no, he doesn't sound like Harrison Ford. There's some lines that he does a little bit, but it, you know, his pitch is way different. It, it, he's younger, it's different. He doesn't really look like him. You know what I mean? He doesn't. A couple shots he does, they do the chin thing. They, they do something when he's acting where, where when Amelia uh, says that I'm like the only person that knows who you really are, he has this moment where he softens his face and gets really worried mm -hmm. at the end of that, where he's like, he's really tough, and then he sort of softens the face. The attention to detail, to get the mannerisms of the character right, to get the world right, I mean, they're drifting, the, the thing flies off the ship, crashes, it just feels so Star Wars, it looks so Star Wars. Um, that attention to detail, 
winning solves everything, right? So we're, we talk a lot about Disney. We talk a lot about the decisions that they make behind the scenes, uh, the way it affects the perception of things and how that perception can then go on to affect the success of the properties. So there's a lot of noise when it's surrounding this film. You know, is it, is it going to be a Franken film? Is it going to be a Justice League situation? And this trailer put a lot of my worries at ease because it really looks like you know the the extra money bringing in Ron Howard all this stuff if it serves to give me a Han Solo that I can believe because you know what it really gave me it gave me this vibe and I want to hear your thoughts on this it, it gave me the vibe of uh, Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan it's like a totally different take on him but feels in line like you can see the connective tissue like you can see how this person becomes this person did you did you get a similar vibe from the performance I think that's what the Amelia Clark line really, really serves the purpose. Is she knows who Han Solo actually is. Han Solo is the guy that we are going to know later on. But right now, he's he's learning to be who she knows he will become. Do you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm totally agreeing with you on, on that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that that line if that line's interesting because it definitely has a meta contextual thing going on, where I think it's it's pointing to like how he'll be sort of the heroic. He will play the smuggler, play the hard, but then be sort of heroic. But I also think maybe there could be a subplot in the film about how he's imperial, right? And how he has ties yeah. to the Empire. And that would be very interesting. But guys, that is just our thoughts on these two very important questions coming out of the Han Solo trailer. We want to know your thoughts on this. So hit me up in the comment section down below. Now, we are going to do a roundtable. So if you want to hear me and James and Andrew, correct? Andrew's going to be there? Yeah, Andrew yeah. will yes <laughs> and fantasia uh so if you want to hear a more casual dialogue where we sort of you know take our time really dig into these points go check out the rebel scum podcast we're going to be putting up a roundtable discussion over there on their channel um and james thank you very much for being here man uh what's this hashtag tell everyone about your your hashtag oh, for so long. my hashtag that i started i think at the beginning of january yep. randomly on one of the episodes of the podcast i said star wars would the Han solo movie be the third best star wars film the third best star wars film <laughs> yeah so. everyone laughed at me including me uh so i started my own hashtag hashtag third best sw film and it is not trending at all, but I think <laughs> I'm we'll going to make it happen. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get, get it there. there. I think I've only tweeted it out once. But yeah, that's that's my thing. It's the third best Star Wars film. You know what? Why not be optimistic? Why not be optimistic, guys? Look, yeah. Star Wars. Either you love it or you're wrong. <laughs> that's all for now. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya!